Welcome to the plus advanced tutorial. Today I'm gonna explain MailChimp subscription widget for the plus add-ons. To use the MailChimp subscription, first of all, you have to oh, have a con valid and working account on the MailChimp. You can sign up for MailChimp. I have attached the link for the MailChimp sign up in the description below. And I am assuming you already have the MailChimp account. Now for the connection you need to go to the the plus settings from the the plus settings you need to go to api connection in the api connection section you have two options the mailchimp api key and mailchimp list id first of all let's see how to find the api key you need to go to mailchimp account extra and from there you will find the api keys let me show you if you are in the any page you just need to go to profile section from there you can press on the extra or you can go to directly on the api keys from there you already have the api keys you can use from there or you can create a new key it's pretty straightforward you just need to create a key and you just need to copy key paste that key here now let's find out mailchimp list id so you need to go to the mailchimp list settings list name and default and copy the list id this is the list area where all the forms are created are visible here from there you can go into any form then you can go to setting and list name and default from there you will find out list id you just need to copy paste that here and you need to save now your mailchimp account is connected with the website now you directly start to use mailchimp widget you just need to drag and drop and then you have two styles over there in the layout section the style one how the fill is in the background and button is all and in style two there is the gap in between those are the two styles you can use whatever you want then there are the options for the alignment the left center and the right then there is the option for the email field you can change, change the placeholder text using this you also have the icon option you can select the icon using this option then there is the option for the subscribe button you can change the text for the button you also have the icon font op awesome option right we have two options font awesome and icons mine and you can select the whatever the icon you want for that particular thing and you have the position icon position options you have the icon spacing options so you can increase or decrease the spacing in between icon and the text you have the icon size option then you have the response message options once you someone submit the value of their email address you can show their the like success message or incorrect email id address or whatsoever to have all the text here you can change it as per your branch requirement and now let's go to the style tab in the style tab you will see the options for the prefix email icon in the email icon you can change the size of it as per your news you can change the color you have the icon edges for the vertical vertical section then you have the email field option from there you have the typography option all the typography options are available and font size line height and latest spacing options are available for the responsive as well then there is the placeholder color option you can change the color you have the inner padding option which is again responsive so you can adjust anything in the responsive devices as well then you have the option for the text color which will be when you are writing on something you have that color it's working right then there is the focus color again you can make it purple and when you are writing it will be purple and when you are outside of that it will be green 
as we have selected that as a normal color and if you remove everything and that color will be from the placeholder color so you have all the options available here and you have the background option like you can change the background color also again it will be possible to change background color on the focus right you can change like this then you have the border options the border width you can choose any border style then we have the border color option again those options are available for the normal and focus if you change the focus border color it will be like this the same for the box shadow as well now we have options for the subscribe button for the subscribe button we have the typography option of the text area we have the option for the padding and the margin again both the, both those options are for the responsive as well then we have the text color option for the normal and for the hover you also can change the background color on normal and hover option you have the border options border color border radius again both are for the normal and hover box head options now this is the response message typography when you are submit and the, whatever the response message will come up you have the typography options for that this option is for the maximum width in the different devices for example if you have if you want 90% only of width in the mobile then you can adjust that in the mobile so this option is basically for the responsive part of this element then you have the option for the on school view animation you can select whatever you want now let's check out how the response messages work for example we have this design and i am putting its incorrect email address so this is work like this and if i put any other email address and i subscribe it it will show the thanks for subscribing with us and whatever the success message you will write over here that will show at the end if you have any other questions write us on the comment box below or you can connect us with the support forum hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial on mailchimp subscription subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this do check all the related links in the description below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video